Signature Pad is a library to get the user's signature through the smartphone screen. It is available as a NuGet package and it could be integrated with Xamarin Forms applications. Here I do have a Xamarin Forms application using Signature Pad running on iOS and on Android where the user here can enter his signature. We can save that signature after exporting it into an image that could be a GPG or a PNG file and also we can clear that signature to let the user enter a new one. I'm Hossam Delay, Microsoft MVP, and in this video, we'll learn how to create such an application using Xamarin Forms and Visual Studio. For that, I'll go and create a new project. I choose Xamarin Forms cross-platform app project. Once the solution is created, we'll go to install the signature pad NuGet package. So we'll go to the solution, then we click manage NuGet packages for solution. And from here, we go and look for signature pad. So here signature pad have two uh, NuGet packages, one for using Xamarin and the second one for Xamarin forms. So here we'll choose Xamarin forms package and we need to install it to all our uh, Xamarin Forms applications that includes the PCL, Android, iOS and UWP projects. Then we click install. Now we are ready to create signatures in our application. For that I'll go here to the main page and from the main page I'll go and create the view for creating the signature or for drawing the signature and that one is called signature pad view. Signature pad view because it comes from an, another library so we need to add the XML namespace for that library which he, is here inside the signature pad.forms which is the NuGet package we just uh, installed. With signature pad view we do have lots of uh, options to use from so here I can choose a background image that will be uh, displayed when I create the signature and also we have some other options for uh, colors so here we can choose for example the stroke color and the stroke color here is the color in which I'm uh, creating the signature so here let's choose for example I want to use the black color then we do have the background uh, color which will be which is in my case here the white background for this background color I say I want to use the white for example then we do have other options for the stroke uh, width and the stroke width will be here the width of uh, this um, of this text I'm writing so in this one I'm choosing the width to be 3 then you can choose the width and the height of your signature pad. So here I'll choose, for example, 280. The height for me in this sample will be 360. Now maybe here with your pad you want to get this image in order to save it or you want to uh, clear this uh, signature to create a new one. So let's learn how to do uh, those. Let's start by creating the save button. So here I'll make all of this inside a stack layout. And the stack layout by default is vertical. So I'll just keep it like this and add now a button inside that stack layout. This button will have a text saying this is for saving the uh, signature. The click it event of this button will go to execute this or to, um, to set to this uh, event handler which will call it save button click it and that's the same name as we have we are using right here. Now you can access that um, signature pad for that I need to give it a name so let's go to the, our signature pad and give it a name let's call it just pad view 
Now I'll use that pad view from my code behind. So I'll call pad view dot get image stream async. And here I have so many options for displaying or for choosing the format of my image I want to export. Here I can choose between JPEG or PNG. I'll go and choose JPEG. This is an asynchronous method, so we need to use the await and async keywords with C sharp. And in order to get the real image, here I put it inside a variable of type stream that I'll call it right here image equal. Stream lives inside the namespace um, system.io, so make sure to have that uh, using in your code. So now that we do have this image, now we can either upload it to our web server or save it inside the uh, device. So this is for the save button. Now let's add another button for clearing the signature displayed inside the pad. So let's add a second button right here with the text saying we want to clear the signature. Let's create the click it event which will go here and uh, call it clear clear button on click it in order to clear the signature all we need to do is to call our pad view dot clear now with this few lines of code we are able to create a signature export it and we can also remove that signature to create a new one if you want to take a look at the source code for this application we have built today, you can go to this uh, GitHub repo right here to get uh, the source code that we have used.